What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general readings for somebody. So before I pull the charms, I do want to say in my description box, I have my social medias on there. I do post on Instagram and Snapchat in case you guys want to go check that out. You can. All right. So let's see who's going to get this reading. Check, 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 Chinona. I don't know why I'm saying that. Sagittarius, what's up, Saggy? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Sagittarius as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. The energies might be reversed for you, Sag, so take it how it resonates and leave the rest, okay? Okay, so Sagittarius, um, I'm kind of just going to wing it in this video. Um, I... We're just going to see what comes out for you, okay? I'm going to pull some oracles and we're going to clarify. And if I have to pull another set of oracles, I will. But it might just be one set and then some advice at the end, okay? All right. Sagittarius spirit is going. So the first card you have is Manatee, Forgiveness, Surrender, and Release. So I feel like you're in an energy right now, Sag, of forgiving and releasing something. Okay? Bottom of the deck is um, Island find solitude and strength so i feel like a lot of you guys want to be alone right now which you should that's very good gives you more of a um of a space to think more clearly second card you have is pearl uncovering lost wisdom here hidden knowledge so i feel like there's something here that you're finding out and i feel like it's more about yourself and that's why this um that's why you guys will be spending time alone or want to be alone here, okay? Then you have stay alone. Stay alone. You're heading in the right direction. So there's something that you should be moving away from. Um, I don't know if you are or not, but we're going to see. Bottom of the deck is crap. Consider the unconventional taking the sideways approach. I feel like whatever it is that's going on with you, Saz, right now, I feel like you can't do this the same way you do every, you've done everything else in the past. Because whatever this is, this is something that you've never experienced before or you've never gone through quite like it like you might have gone through the same experiences but this one hits home whatever this is um and i feel like the universe wants you to to switch up your approach and how you're handling it but let's clarify and see what's going on all right spare wise manatee here So you have the Ace of Coins here, the Queen of Wands in reverse, <clears throat> with the Four of Swords in reverse. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords. So Sag, I feel like whatever you're trying to release and surrender from, I don't feel like you are too happy about the fact that you have to do this. Um, I feel like you know that in order to do that, you have to do this in order to calm your mind, in order to relax the stuff around you. And I feel like you also know that that you have to let this go in order for you to like move on, in order for you to have a new prosperous beginning in some part of your life. I feel like you're making this logical decision here. I feel like there's. It's like you don't want to move forward, but it's just kind of like you're just like, listen. It's like you're talking to yourself and you're just like, listen, Sagittarius, we got to do this. We can't stay stuck here. We can't um, be all up in our head. We got to freaking move on. And I see you making a logical decision to move forward, even though you're a little scared to take this leap of faith, you know, which is good. Like, this is exactly what we should all, this is the energy that we should all be in, Sag, like, Knowing that we have to do something, even if we're scared, or even if we don't want to do it, and but we know that we need to for our own betterment, like you're on the right path. And I and this is hard, okay? <laughs> this is hard. I've been through this. Um, it is really hard because whatever it is that you're choosing to release or forgive or move on from is something that was kind of like a safe haven for you, or something that um, made you feel very comfortable. You felt at home, right? Without this now, you could be feeling like, what am I doing, right? Where where am I going? 
you know. Um, so this is a very good congratulations for you, Sag. Okay, what is this pearl here? You have the two of coins in reverse. What else is this pearl here? Okay. Oh, okay. You have the five of cups with the nine of wands, okay? And then you have the hermit in reverse. So, Sag, whatever you're finding out about yourself, let me tell you something. It's not bad. I feel like you're learning a lot. And this is always what happens. Something major could have happened in your life that made you, that, that made you take a step back in something, and within you taking that step back, it's like a lot of stuff was illuminated, was brought up about your inner self. That's always how it happens, okay? Um, and the Hermit reverse, the Four of Cups in reverse, and the Ten of Wands here. And I feel like whatever that you're finding out about yourself, you're just like, wait, what? Like, this might sound weird, but I feel like you, it's like you're just like, no, this is, I'm getting more like a denial vibe. Like you're just like, no, th this can't be it. Like why? And 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 I feel like you're being hard on yourself. And that's why you're, it's it's like whatever day you're finding out about yourself, you're like, no, this this can't be, this can't be what I am. This can't be what, how I think, you know? And, and you could be feeling regretful. Like, why do I think this way? This isn't even right. And now you have your walls up against everyone and not everyone, but you, you do have your walls up here. And I feel like, the way you're going about it, Sag, you're actually making it a little, it's going to be a little more challenging, a little more harder for you here because what you don't see coming is the hermit in reverse. And I feel like it's the fact that there isn't any self-reflection being done within your part. I feel like you're judging yourself too much instead of trying to understand yourself. Um, and we've all been there, okay? I'm not going to say, you know, when I first started my self-love journey um, years ago, I started realizing stuff about myself and I'm like, why do I do this? Right. And, and I would like ridicule myself like you shouldn't do this. You you know better. Blah, 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 blah. But then I realized that I wasn't really getting anywhere with my self love. And, th and then I also felt like I was putting myself down for something that that's that's who, you know, it, we become who we are based off, off of our experiences with family, based off of what we have went through, our childhood, school, society, like it's all built within. Then we get to an age where we have now we are in charge of de deconditioning, letting all that stuff go that is not ours. And I feel like that's what you're that is where you are right now. And you can't blame yourself for the things about yourself that you're finding out that you might not like so much because that is the beautiful thing. You are supposed to find those out and you're supposed to look at it and ask yourself, why am I doing this? Right? And you're gonna find that. You are doing it not because of what it looks like. There's a different reason behind it, right? Um, and I don't want you to feel bad about whatever this is. Because I, I see you finding it out and you're like, oh, this is too much. I can't take this. Like, what what, what more do I, you know, um, what, what? I'm just getting, like, you're being really hard on yourself and I'm going to need you to chill out, okay? Um, really take some self-reflection here. I feel like you need to let go of the past. Whatever has happened in the past, whatever whatever something was, it's not that anymore, okay? And I'm going to be real with you. You got to let that go because I feel like with the page of coins in reverse, there's something that didn't work out that you, maybe you wanted it to. Whatever this was was something fairly new. Um, and you could be holding yourself um, accountable for that. You know, like, why did I let this happen? Why did I allow this to even... It's Listen, everything happens for a reason, so don't be hard on yourself here. But I do want you to understand that instead of you judging yourself, try to understand yourself. Okay, because nobody is perfect. And it's it wouldn't be fair for you to judge yourself when nobody is perfect. Why are you judging yourself? For what, right? There's people out here who haven't even gotten to the stage in life to actually look at their flaws and look at you know, things that could be tweaked a little bit within themselves. A lot of people ignore the mirror, but you're looking right at the mirror and you're like, why are my eyelashes like that? Why does my lip look like that? Why does my ear look like that? You know, you're just like kind of being judgmental. You're like, it's weird. That's not right. Who says, 
who is to say what's right and what's wrong? Nobody, right? Because nobody is perfect. And that's what like I've been, I've been trying to tell people all week on my Instagram. It's like perfection is a freaking illusion. And society has made up these their own rules about what is right, about what is wrong, about what we should be doing. And it's like society themselves don't even know what the fuck they're doing. So do not go off by what other people are telling you. Go off by what you feel inside of yourself. If you feel like there's something about yourself that needs to be a little changed, then work on that. But work on it in a way that you're being loving to yourself, not judging yourself, okay? All right. Let's see what this sailboat is. What is this sailboat? For Sagittarius. What is this sailboat? Oh, you have the Knight of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords. You have the three of coins in reverse with the two of wands in reverse. So Sag, whatever it is that, that you that they want you to move away from is something that you you're still. I don't want to say that you're just like, yeah, I'm going towards it full on. Let's go. No, it's more like you're just like, well, I mean, I have gas in the car. <laughs> you know, like I could make it over there. <laughs> you know, I don't feel like I don't feel like you're just like making plans to go over there, but. There's something here that didn't work out, a teamwork, a collaboration. Something didn't work out here. You made plans towards it. Like there was plans made, goals made for this. Um, and at one point you were very much like, yeah, I'm going. This is what I want. Whatever this is, the universe wants you to move away from it. They don't want you to give any energy to this. There might be somebody else trying to give energy into this as well. Page of Swords, the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Hangman in reverse. I feel like whatever this is, there isn't, like, it's like, I feel like you're finding out something. I feel like somebody's telling you, hey, like, I don't, oh. I feel like somebody's like, listen, I'm not stable right now. I've, I've lost a lot. You know, somebody could be asking, could be asking you for, the, for their help. Could be asking you for help. But the universe is like, no. Wh whatever, whatever this energy is, you've been involved with this energy before whether it's platonic romantic i don't know and it didn't work out and now i i, I don't like to say that, that there's a that like you know how can i say this i don't want to say that somebody's fault you know like oh it's your fault because everybody knows what they're doing and it takes two to tango but whatever didn't work out with this person it's like you you said I don't want to do this anymore. And that's what I, that's what I'm seeing here. So whatever you you decided not to do anymore, that person's coming back and it's like, hey, I need help. I'm unstable. I, I need you to help me. But this energy isn't changing their perspective. Like the like and, and I'm and I'm really honestly feeling like the way that they're looking at it is like they feel like you need to help them. Like Sag needs to help me, and it doesn't matter what Sag is going through, I need them to help me. This is this could be like a selfish person or somebody who is really ignorant and not paying attention to the fact that something didn't work out between you and them before and it's like now they just want to come back and just be like oh i need your help right so they're advising you to, to stay away from that to move away from that okay all right let's ask for some advice always for this for first row you have patience here, all right? I accept that everything happens in divine order and doubt at the bottom. So whatever it is that you're forgiving, surrendering, and release, they want you to understand that it's not going to be overnight, right? I know you're a fire sign and you want things to go, 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 but you're, it's going to take time for you to release this and let this go officially. And I feel like that could also be why you're kind of pissed because you're like, I already want to start a new beginning. Like, can I let this go? But the universe is like, there. you can't rush this process, okay? What is this pearl? You have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Very much clear, right? Be honest with yourself about what you're, about your, what you're finding out about yourself. And like I said, don't judge. Try to understand, okay? What is this sailboat? Hold on a second. Let me write something down, Sag. So. 
You have health here. First day above. I will honor the physical vessel that nourishes my soul. Whatever this energy is, the universe is telling you to walk away from that they that they're asked that you know these these energies are asking for your help. You have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it, right? I feel like you've already disconnected from this and now it's coming back. I feel like when this was in your energy, I feel like your health was being affected in some way, right? Um, maybe you were overdoing something because you were like overly stressed, whatever this is. And the, the universe wants you to look at that. Like when this was in your life, first of all, you had to grieve this. You, you had to go through the grieving process. Some of you guys could have really lost somebody. Um... Some of you guys could have really lost somebody and, you know, you're going through your own thing. And then there's people that are like, hey, Sag, can you help me out? And it's like, I just I'm going through a grieving process and you want me to help you out? Like, bro, I need help. <laughs> OK, but they want you to um, they want you to stay away from these people because these people are just going to cause more stress is what I'm getting. Um, and it's going to affect you physically. Right. Whether you overdo something because you're so stressed, smoking, eating, whatever, Um Maybe it's just your health, your high blood pressure might go up. I don't know, but they want you to stay away from these people because it's not good for your health, okay? Don't try to work together back with something. Um, stay to yourself right now because you do need that, especially if you're um, trying to forgive and release something in your life, all right? All right, Sash, that's all that I have. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.